Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Now last week, there were two big back-to-back -back updates. Now the first update on the 24th introduced patches, added a new crosshair menu, changed the buy menu, and of course, nerfed the AWP. Now personally, I was definitely not a fan of that last part, but there was more. By adding the new buy menu, there was a new bug in the game whenever you would buy a Mac-10, it would crash you out of the game. So it was no surprise to see an update coming out the next day. That is, until we actually got to see what it included. Now while this update did fix the crash whenever you would buy a Mac-10, it also introduced a couple new aspects. One of which was adding a new game setting to control the buy menu starting mouse position because so many people were having issues with it being moved up to the top left. Though personally, I would have just liked to be able to centralize my buy menu again. But the other big change was far more unexpected. They did some changes to the anti-cheat. One of these changes was allowing players to report players from their own recently played matches through the demo. Now this is something that we've been begging to have in the game for the longest time, and after eight years, they finally did it. This means you no longer have to report people just because you were suspicious of them in-game. You can actually wait till the game's over, watch your demo, and see if they were actually cheating. But that's not all. Matchmaking has been adjusted to increase the weight of Trust Factor. Now while a lot of YouTubers are on the side of Trust Factor, Trust Factor has been a little bit hit and miss for me. Which I'm sure you guys have noticed through my Dual Q to Global series, which ended up being all against cheaters towards the end, my solo queue to global series, which ended up being against all cheaters at the end, and of course my main global account, which ended up losing its global because I was playing against nothing but cheaters. So hopefully you can understand my skepticism, because at the end of the day, Trust Factor still works by reports. And since you can still report while in the middle of a game, there's a high chance that somebody's going to report you when you pull off a nutty shot or a series of them which is automatically going to lower your trust factor. Though whenever I try to bring this topic up, people say, well, that's why they have Face It or ESEA. Which brings us to the next part of the update, Overwatchers should experience significantly fewer obvious spinbot cases. Honestly, guys, I do like this. I think this is a good sign of things to come because that means they're using their AI system to determine spinbot cases and make it so that we don't have to deal with them. Who knows what else they can add this to in the future? Maybe bunny hop cases and more. Maybe they already have. But I guess the real question is, even though they have said it in the patch notes, does it actually work? And I have to say, honestly, I think it does. Now, while I am still getting a massive influx of blatant cheaters, I'm getting far less rage cheating. Not only that, I'm actually getting far less bunny hopping, which is why I actually brought that up earlier. So unless I've just been incredibly lucky as of late, I gotta say, it actually seems like this update is actually doing as it said. Anyways, guys, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for reference, I'm actually gonna leave you with the last three Overwatch cases I've done. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window, and today we're gonna be doing some Overwatch. Watch. As you can see here, the suspect's got three kills, 89 damage around, making his way over here towards the B site, gonna get mollied off and fall back here into tunnel. Got some teammates over here with him, one just kind of spamming through that Molotov. The suspect here pushing up. Does he know Rattle is there on the right hand side? Kind of aiming through the wall at him a little bit, but maybe he's just trying to get ready to peek out and aim over to the right. Either way, he gets smoked off here. Teammate trying to work a pick in middle. They're able to do so. It looks like he knew where Rattle was, but he wasn't able to react. Maybe he was just lined up accidentally. Either way, one guy here on the left side of doors gets tagged through the door by the suspect, leading just a little bit over to the left, and that is not in human reaction. Making his way over here towards the A site. Looks like he is lining up with people as he peeks out. Almost always seems like he knows where the person is. Look at how he's aiming over here on the wall rather than the open area. Peeking out over here, right onto the target, and takes the shot, missing. Of course, you can see that Beta's sitting there behind the box, taking down his teammates. He's finally able to take down Beta. And he's pushing over here into sight. Still got four counter terrorists to worry about. One guy had long, he knows exactly where he's at. And he's just trying to hide behind the single box, about to come out, seeing if we can get an angle onto him. Duck peeking this very slowly. Bots out his shoulder, and takes down Frog. You can see Snake there and CT spawn getting shot from Catwalk. Takes a shot, not quite able to get on target, and gonna try to finish him off with the Glock, but not able to stay on target. All right, so what we have here, guys, seems to be a wall hacker. The suspect here making his way over here towards the bomb, aiming a guy through the wall, able to get the headshot onto Frog. I think this is natural aiming ability, just assisted by the wall hack. And honestly, guys, I'm not overly impressed considering he is cheating. Pushing forward, he's gonna pick up that bomb, try to get across, and gets absolutely shut down. This round, the suspect making his way over here towards middle. As you can see, he is pre-aiming Snake through that wall. Didn't realize that he was on an off angle there. Of course, he sees Beta coming up through the wall. Shot here, not quite able to get on target, but does get the headshot with the final bullet. 
Suspect here making his way over here towards Long, takes the silencer off his M4, peeks towards sight, and decides to fall back. He did spot one guy out in sight, and smoke is up. He's gonna throw a smoke here. Not a great one. They can push through it very easily. Peeking over here towards sight, he's just gonna tap Snake through the box before picking up and finishing him off with a headshot. Still got one guy over here and CT spawn on the other side of the smoke. One guy quad box and one guy on cat. Peeking up. Able to dink the guy on cat, trying to finish him off, not quite able to get on target yet, and finally takes him down. Rattle over here on the right hand side, pushing up, of course he knows he's pushing up, even though Rattle was trying to be sneaky there, and actually the suspect's teammate's gonna get the kill. Suspect making his way over here towards Long, he's gonna spot one guy at corner, gonna get behind blue container here. Does have control of Long though, and that's gonna force the CT to fall back. Suspect peeks out, gonna get tagged by Daisy down to 14 HP. A little bit frustrated with that, taking some shots at the door. Looks like he's going to fall back here a little bit, let his teammates go in first. Following Toaster up here, you can see he's going to pull a Molotov and molly off the cross. As you can see, Snake is flanking, and the suspect knows that he is coming from behind, holding the angle, and waiting for Snake. Snake's going to peek out into him. Actually, Snake fires pretty quick with that one, but I think he was shooting at Toaster, who actually spotted before he spotted out the suspect. Either way, the suspect was able to get that kill, finds himself in a 1v4 with 14 HP. This is a very difficult situation. Going to pick up that AK-47 and start falling back here. Bomb is down, so unless he takes them all down, he's not going to win the round. Making his way over here towards CT spawn. One guy pushing over here, he hears the footsteps. And going to try to catch him off guard, but Beta seems to know exactly where he's at. The suspect pushing back over here towards Long. Snake is going to be over there by car, and the suspect here holding the angle, waiting for Snake to peek out. Alex lets him walk right through the smoke. I don't actually know if he can see through smoke, so we have confirmed he can see through walls. Mask gonna take down Daisy. That's just gonna leave three counter terrorists remaining. Two of them in CT spawn, one in lower B tunnels. Looks like pushing up long here. One guy in sight over by quad box. The suspect aimed on him through the box. Does fall down. And takes a shot, but Mask's gonna get the kill. One more guy up here on Catwalk. The suspect is gonna be able to plant that bomb. I imagine he's gonna go for Rattle next. Peeks out and takes him down. All right, this round, the suspect decided to deviate from taking long and is making his way up Catwalk. As you can see, he's already pre-aimed onto Snake. Now switching over to Daisy, he peeks up and takes him down. Snake is in sight. Rattle over there in CT spawn. Smoke grenade's gonna come in here. And Dalmatian's gonna start shooting at the guy in sight. And while the suspect whips the shot onto Rattle. Repeak. Mask is able to take him down. This gives them the A site, but Bomb is down on Catwalk, and there is a CT there guarding it. Peek over here towards Long. One guy pushing up Long. Takes his time. Gets the kill onto Frog. This leaves one guy left on Cat. How are they going to go and reclaim this Bomb? Suspect's going to let his teammate go in first here. Beta's going to fall back. Actually going to give up the Bomb here, so they will be able to pick it up and fall back into sight. The Suspect holding the angle. Beta's going to be peeking out here, and the Suspect has spotted him. But we did confirm he was walling way earlier. Beta's gonna take down Dalmatian. The suspect turns around to look at him like, what the heck was that? The PK angle and takes down the final CT. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. Major description aim assistance. I'm gonna have to go with insufficient evidence here. As for vision assistance, though, that is definitely evident beyond reasonable doubt. He was lining people up throughout this entire game through the walls. As for other external assistance, I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. And as for griefing, wasn't griefing his teammates on purpose, so I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. And here we find ourselves on Mirage. As you can see here, the suspect's got 15 kills, 139 damage around in 12 rounds. Pretty solid stats. Going to be pushing aggressive here. One guy over here. Didn't hear some footsteps. Checking up top. Does spot him out. Takes a shot at him. Now, is he wall hacking or was that just a sound cue? Not 100% sure. Either way, the suspect's gonna take down Sparrow, and now he's got two more terrorists to worry about over there in mid. Pushing up for the hard flank here. Should know at least one guy is in mid, and he's aiming on them through the window. That was that was really weird. Either way, gonna spot out Woodpecker, gets the headshot, and now he's gotta worry about Alpha, and Alpha gets taken down by Rattle. This round, the suspects decided to go with some duelies, and of course an AWP. Did go towards ramp, but I think he realized that Sparrow here was pushing through halt. Yeah, he's definitely aiming on through the wall. Gonna lock onto his face and take him down. Still gotta worry about one guy top mid, one guy underpass, and one guy in B hall. Making his way over here towards middle. Pretty sure we have already confirmed he is using a wall hack and an aim lock. Uh, as you can see, he just took out that guy right through the box. Peeks out, takes down Alpha, 
And wow, this game is sure easy when you don't have to worry about your aiming mechanics and of course knowing where the other player is. Suspect making his way over here towards the B side. Last guy in Halls gets the kill onto Whale. And the score is 10 to 3. Making his way over here towards A main. Gonna spot out Sparrow, gets the headshot. And Kiwi there on the left hand side. Will the suspect decide to push up? Yes, he will. Peeking out, knows exactly where he's at, but actually misses the shot. Maybe he was moving when he fired. Sparrow pushing up over towards him, gets the headshot onto him. Looks like there is a little bit of an aim lock there, and we saw that earlier with the pistols a couple times already. Now he's making his way towards T-Spawn, gonna be taking some shots at Kiwi through the wall. Obviously, he can't shoot through all those walls, but he is gonna be holding this angle, he should be able to get the kill here. There we go, there's a headshot, and gonna finish off the final terrorist here, I'm sure. Suspect's gonna be going in for the flank here, and it looks like Beta's gonna take down the final T. Alright, the suspect here, now on the terrorist side, gonna decide to buy a Deagle. Going towards the middle, spots one guy out at window, gets that Deagle headshot, and gonna be making his way over here towards connector, gets that Deagle headshot, and making his way towards sight, and gets that Deagle headshot, before pushing a little bit farther, and getting another Deagle headshot, and then finally finishing off with it. Well, so much for that highlight. All right, gonna be pushing aggressive here. One guy over there at a main and one guy in sight. He is able to tap Alpha in the face. Guys, we have so much evidence to say that he is wall hacking and aim locking. He isn't using a bunny hop script. That's why I continue to watch this. See if he decides to turn on some other external assistance. It looks like it's just those two, even though they are incredibly blatant. Suspect here making his way towards a ramp. With a peak aggressive, wild flash, takes down whale. One guy over here in spawn. And uh, he's just gonna keep tapping until it locks up to someone. Takes down Alpha as well, and still got to worry about one guy over there at the B site, all by himself with a Deagle. Should be the last round of the game, unless Kiwi is able to pull off something magical. This makes him to jump through the window here, takes him down from behind. Time for the Overwatch resolution, let's go through this. Major disruption, aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. He didn't bunny hop the entire game, so I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. And he wasn't griefing his teammates, so I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. And here we are on case number three. As you can see here, the suspects got 31 kills in 21 rounds. This guy is absolutely destroying the competition. Got 144 damage around, 61% headshot percentage, and he's going to be pushing over here towards B. Actually decided to fall back, maybe some callouts from his teammates over at the A site. Rotated over here, Zigzag's able to take down Calf, him and his teammate over here by stairs together. Going to peek out, gets a gun, tagged up a little bit, they know where his positioning is. He is able to take down Cat before getting taken down himself. The first shot was really nice. One guy making his way over here through Palace. Gonna be holding the angle, and the way he adjusted made it look like he knew there was a guy pushing up Palace quick there. Either way, gonna be making his way back over here towards stairs. Banjo's able to take down Rattle. Shark takes down Puffin. Banjo takes down Calf, and Cat takes down Lily. Suspect finds himself in a very difficult situation, able to take down Shark and Banjo. One guy pushing up mid here. Knows he's coming, gonna get the headshot onto him as well. And one more guy in sight, takes the shot, not quite able to get on target. Let's see if we can lock on here with a repeat. And no. Gonna go with that scout once again. And yes, I am pretty suspicious that he is using an aim lock. One for the peak here in middle and just takes down Zigzag through the smoke. Now, Zigzag did take the first shot. So maybe he was just kind of spamming back where he heard the shot. Either way, able to take down Cat as well when he peeks out. And knew that Cat was gonna be peeking out over there on the right hand side and that Cat was behind that smoke. But I'm saying that wall hacks look incredibly likely. Making his way over here towards the B site. One guy pushing through halls and one guy here on Cat. Knows exactly where Shark is. Gonna get that headshot. And Banjo there is like, you know what? Not entirely sure what to do here. If I go over to the B site, I might have to fight against the suspect. But maybe knows that I wanted to go towards underpass. So maybe I can trick him and come back up. Suspect a little distracted by objects on the ground for a moment. But he has refocused. Holding that window. Banjo is peeking on the right hand side, he knows he's there, he kind of wants to go more aggressive, but he wants to play it safe enough that he guarantees the round and gets the kill onto Banjo. Alright, making his way over here towards the B site, the terrorists have taken the site, does get tagged up from the side a little bit, finishes off Banjo, one more guy pushing in, and he's going to get tagged down and taken out. We hold the angle this time with an auto sniper, no more messing around, this spot on his shoulder, and tag him up a little bit and finishes off Shark. Now in a 2v2 situation, making his way over here towards the A site, knows there's a guy behind Firebox, I'm trying to aim at him through the box here, taking shots at him, and Zigzag's a little bit nervous about that, gonna throw a nade to try to block him. 
Zigzag is able to take down his teammate. The suspect going to take down Cat through the smoke and hunting down the final terrorist here on the other side of Firebox. Making some shots, not quite able to get on target. Going for the peak and finally gets the kill onto Zigzag. Able to take down Blackbird through the smoke. Still got four terrorists to worry about. Peaking aggressive here, gonna take down Cat and Zigzag down there on the right hand side. He's trying to peek him, he actually does take him down through the smoke as well. That's just gonna leave two terrorists remaining. Very hard to get past the suspect here. One guy in Sandwich, of course he knows he's there. He's gonna try to sneak up on him since he knows the other terrorist has fallen back and he's all by himself. Able to get that kill. Last guy over there in Apartments, pushing up, and the suspect here, pushing up over here from Palace. Suspect should set up for it in a moment. Banjo's actually holding the angle. Suspect is now peeking it, but it looks like Puffin's going to be able to get the kill. All right, guys, time for the Overwatch resolution. As for aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt, and vision assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. So as you guys can see, while the cases are still incredibly blatant, there was no obvious spin botters, and there was no bunny hopper. And the cases being blatant are not necessarily a bad thing, because the AI system is pushing forward the cases it thinks are cheaters. This allows players to go through a lot more cheating cases, and a lot less legitimate ones. Which of course gives Overwatchers the ability to ban far more cheaters. Overall, right now, this update's actually looking pretty good, but I think it's still going to take a while for us to fully see the extent of the changes. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.